<laughs> Roxanne is here. And of course, we met a year ago. And, and you'll know Roxanne, actress, former Emmerdale star. We all remember the massive media storm after Roxanne was on Celebrity Big Brother. She became the self-proclaimed most hated girl in Britain after falsely accusing the former Corrie star Ryan Thomas of assault. So we'll just take a look now at what happened. Ryan, I've got a clean towel. I've got a little towel that I'm going to use. Oh! Woman beater. Go on, what? Did it, sorry. I was going to ask if you want your washing on, but I might shrink them instead. I might shrink them. Big Brother, that hurt. Can you call me to the diary room, please? This is Big Brother. Would Roxanne come to the diary room? I'd need to talk to somebody about something that's just happened that's made me feel really uncomfortable. There was no malice and hurt or anger in anything that I did. Can't believe you're letting somebody stay that's done that. So you know what happened. Uh, Roxanne left the Big Brother house, apologised to Ryan live on the show, this show uh, and elsewhere, and you had a massive reaction to all of that. Yeah. And you, in a sense, have been living with it in the, in the yeah. previous year. Yeah. And I, I, I mean, it's not our job to make you say sorry again because you said sorry many, many, many times. Do you feel you said sorry enough now? I mean, that's all I, I could do, really. Um, and immediately, you know, take accountability for what I realised. And looking back at those clips, it's awful. It's, um, it was a really awful time for a lot of people. And it's only now when I watch those back that I realise how far I've come and what a bad place I was in. It's like watching somebody else. Um, so for, for yeah. 12 months, I think you, you sort of went missing a little bit for 12 months, didn't you, off, in terms yeah. of the public? Yeah, I, I had to. I had to go off the grid. I had to take myself away. And that meant turning down any appearance, any project, just not even going out, really. I needed to fix what was wrong. And I'll be honest with you, it was a long time coming. I look back now and I, I'm angry at myself for neglecting things that were wrong for so long because... You know, you, you're responsible for your own mind. And it's only now since I've been having therapy and I've since done a lot of reflecting and a lot of um, soul searching. And I've educated myself as to why I felt that way to make sure it never happens again. I never want to feel like that. I never want to be that person again. I never want to react to a situation like that. And if I can do anything now, it's to make sure that anyone else out there doesn't make the same mistakes as I, I have because it can happen to anyone, and it happened to me. And now but, but, I am, like you said, I'm paying, I have paid the price. And well, you have been, uh, you've been punished in the sense yeah. that you, you know, if you Google yourself or you're on Twitter or whatever, you keep getting this yeah. criticism and it goes on and on. And, and that's painful for someone who's in public life. I get so, it though. And no, it was right that I got that. It was, it was right that um, I, I chose to go on that show. You know, I put myself out there and I made a mistake in the public eye. So I understand why everybody felt the way they did. When I, I watched that back, I would have felt the same way watching that. So, so you could say, I'm no longer in the public eye. You could say, I'm going to just go and have an allotment or work in a shop or whatever, you know, because now we know fame doesn't, fame is a thing that <clears throat> comes and goes for, for a lot of people. Yeah. But you, I think you do want to get back and act and all of that. I yeah? mean, I've not really made an astute decision, really. It's more, it's, it's more about getting myself in a good place. I've spent the last year having EMDR therapy and, um, and CBT therapy and just working on my PTSD because I didn't know what was wrong with me. The first How 24 did hours... Things, did things get for you? It was bad. It was, I got worse before I got better. You know, the two months that followed when I left got a lot worse, more than people realised. And but I had to go through that. I almost feel like it was the best, worst thing to ever happen to me because it shook me out of this state that I was in. And I think that, yeah, I was on the wrong path. I, w I was on the wrong path. I was a person that I didn't even like. So I don't blame anybody for, for saying what they felt. Everyone was entitled to feel and say what they felt because that was the person I was, I was showing everybody you know, who I was, and I didn't like who I was. When you came onto the show a year ago, and it was, it was yeah. actually a fir our first day, yeah. and I remember Alistair Campbell was sitting that side, and he hadn't really got a clue of what had gone yeah. on, so he didn't know. And I caught his eye, and I think we were both thinking the same thought, which is, here's a very young woman who is possibly so upset she could take her life. That was, yeah. you know, you, you honestly seem to be that. <clears throat> was that, was that yeah. impression correct? 
I remember you coming in for a little bit of criticism from some people, sort of saying you weren't hard enough on her. And mm -hmm. I think there was another interview you did where where somebody was extremely yeah. tough on you. And, and I, I, I agree with you, Jeremy. I think when you actually, you know, you're sitting with another human being, it's very easy for people to say, you should be blah, 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 lambasting. You know, we've seen what happened to young people from Love Island. You know, they are real people. You made a mistake. You've said sorry. It's a year ago. Mm. Really, everybody should be. I personally think. Well, I made a decision. I can quite understand why you did a little package there to um, show what had happened, but I made a decision to actually not look look at that because I don't want. I've never met you before, and I want to relate to you as as you are, not as that thing that happened to you in your past. I think the I think the things that you've been through are really really tough. But the way that you've handled yourself subsequently and the things that you've said, the, the action that you've taken to, to process all of this is so inspiring, not just for your generation, but actually a lot of us get swept up in some very strange media storms. And a lot of us make mistakes. We don't all have to have those paraded in public. Uh, and I, I really admire you. I just want to hear And you. also, I think, uh, if you don't mind me saying, you know, speaking to you in makeup and everything, you're genuinely nervous and, and quite sort of stressed. So I just yeah, hope people <laughs> realise yeah, she's Richard, sorry, I, right? I she's mean, sorry. You know, I, I think you would be within your rights to mind about the really, really nasty digital blowback you've had on Twitter where people treat you as if you have killed eight people. I mean, and, and but you're amazingly, you don't, you, you seem to think you actually in some way deserved it. And I think you're, you don't even want to argue with that lot. There's no point. Mm. And look, look, as somebody told me um, when I came out of the house, the court of public opinion have ruled and they've ruled against you. And the sooner you would, you know, acknowledge that and accept that, the better. Mm. And and I really, I really appreciate that. That you, you've no idea how much that means to me to, for you well, to say. There's that. an old-fashioned thing called forgiveness, isn't there? Totally. And the capacity for redemption. I think we all yeah. have to believe in that. But also, and it, it's happened probably to all of us who've been on the, even on this show. Mm. You will come in for a lot of criticism. Mm. If somebody doesn't agree with you, they will certainly let yeah. you know. Even if they don't like my dress, they will tell me about yeah. it in great That's detail. That's why Lucy never but talks it, about cycling now. Uh, I, I try. I'm very careful <laughs> about cycling. But I still have a view on yeah. cyclists. So yeah, yeah, don't, don't, please don't. Um, but, but the idea is that yeah. those, those comments ultimately set, tell you so yeah. much more about the people getting in touch than they ever do about mm. yourself. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I've been focusing on the people that have been, you know, supportive and compassionate. And there's so many people out there that have reached out that have said, you know, when I watched that, I saw myself in you. I saw that you'd obviously been carrying a lot of weight of previous issues and traumas. And, and it was reading those letters that made me feel a little bit more more human so you yeah. know I think that all I can do now is rebuild and that's what I've been doing for the last year and just I'm just trying to be better today than I was yesterday that's all that's all any of us can do it's good for, for advice for all of us actually